It's Kathy Press again, and we are uh, at my Geriatric Care One YouTube series and channel, and we are doing Death and Dying, the playlist of Death and Dying, and this is number two. So, what a geriatric care manager is able to do with Death and Dying is many things, but one of them is to offer whole, the whole family approach. And uh, if you go back to episode one, you will see my own personal story about how this can be used. So the GCM coordinates the care with the family and the client because you never just have a client. You have a whole family. Even if they're all estranged, they're all there. <laughs> and they all need help, especially with death and dying. So the patient and the other core the other uh, family, they need services coordinated among all of them. Um, so your services as a geriatric care manager are not just focused on the dying person. They are focused really on the family and on the dying person. Um, so when you do a care plan as a geriatric care manager, what you are doing is a care plan for the older person who is dying, or younger person, because you deal with chronic care, and the family at the same time. So you're doing a care plan for both, and because to move the family is to move the older person through the continuum of care of dying. Uh, Family-centered care is really the same of, as any care you do as a geriatric care manager. You are moving through the continuum of care, only with death, you're moving through the continuum of care of death, which are the five stages of death. And um, it's just a new element, and, you know, a, a, a very involved element, because you're going to have hospice and palliative care, and, you know, a bereaved family. Uh, but you're going to also incorporate in your continuum of care beliefs and elements of death and family and religion. Mm -hmm. So you really need to be schooled in that. For instance, to do a cultural assessment, uh, you know, if this is an Asian family, do they want acupuncture? I mean, you know, what, what comfort and what, what boundaries do they have? So you really need to, and what religious affiliation is there. Family, and that's for both the older person and for the family, because they're grieving, and what form do they grieve in? Family-centered uh, care helps you communicate. Um, you have a terminal diagnosis, and the family needs information. Because, you know, they, they may have been through this, but death takes all sorts of forms <laughs> and all sorts of diagnoses. So you want to be able to give the family and the older person information about what they're dying from, information about the diagnosis. Even though the doctor comes in, doctors sort of, they do their best, but they come in quickly. They have 10 minutes, even that, and you are there to fill in all the blanks. And you're to do research on the disease. That's a geriatric care manager's job. Um, and to find out, you know, what you need to know. So if it's cancer, do you need to go to the American Cancer Society? Because you're, you can't know everything as a geriatric care manager. Uh, if it's caregiver support, family caregiver association. Uh, if it's Alzheimer's, the Alzheimer's Association. So you need to go out and school yourself in all of the ramification of the disease and what those associations have to offer the older person and the family. So family-centered care really goes through the continuum of death. And what is the continuum of death? Elizabeth Kubler-Ross defined that a long time ago. And the first stages are denial. Uh, I mean, just think of uh, recently uh, the Malaysian plane that, uh, you know, wasn't found. And uh, mm -hmm. the family of uh, the 200 and some people on the plane held out hope forever. That's, it, you might call it denial, mm -hmm. but, you know, you want your family member to survive. And so it's like they're on a, lo a lost plane dying and they'd really, the family would like them to come back. And then anger, when you really know the plane's crashed, and really anger at Boeing, or anger at uh, the Malaysian government, uh, only in this case, anger in general, reaching out to somebody to be angry about God. Uh, the next stage is basically bargaining, 
you know, what could I do? What could I give you? What, what, how could I change my life uh, just to have you come back? <laughs> Please. And uh, then depression, because bargaining doesn't help. And then acceptance. So you are essentially moving as a geriatric care manager through that continuum. And I will see you next time. And tune in to my website, kathycrest.com. My blog goes along with this. And thank you for watching.